you set you down. So this video is different. I'm excited for it. And so for Christmas, one of the gifts that my parents got me was this because I really wanted this. Like this I wanted really bad. And it's basically, it's a Jojo Siwa friendship journal type thing. And, and then when you take the cardboard thing off, which I'll take off first. And it just says, don't you see what things I love, things I love sort of thing. And it's like a journal in that you get to, like, fill out questions. And, and, so, um, and it's kind of, like, friendship-based. So, um, what we started doing was, because I finished my Snoopy book that my sister got for me for Christmas, so we moved on to this, and this is the first day of doing it. I filled out quite a bit, um, all the way to this mark, but there is, you can't see it, like, but you can kind of. So I'm going to be reading to you. Obviously, I won't be reading names, really, unless I am allowed to. Um, who, um, and reading the questions so you can see what I filled out and personally. This is my own opinion. I hope you like it. Because I do so. The first thing is the journal belongs to. I have Andy. Then the first question is, do you know another Cibonator? Or who have the Cibonator? Or how you find friends? Basically, talking about how how they want to know if you know someone who is a Siba Nader, which subscribe to Jojo, so, um, do they help you find friends? So I put in, and yes, Bella, shout out to you. Um, I believe she is. She's really awesome. She's one of my best friends. I don't have a best friend. Let me be real. I don't have one best friend. I have three that are, I have a group that is like my best, best, best friends. So yeah, Bella is one of them. So I put a yes, she is nice because she is nice. So let me make sure. Oh, I skipped. So the second question is, if your best friend were an animal, what animal would um, they be? So I put in, in a dog because um my dog is one of my best friends, Sam, and that he's a dog. Then I and then and then we got Bella. Um uh, she would be a cat. I feel like she would be a cat or a unicorn. One of the and then we got my crush and I put that he would be a dog. I feel like he would be a dog. From what I know, either a dog, a unicorn, or I feel like he would be one of the uh, one of my favorite animals. <laughs> and then, then the next question. So this one I can't really do because for me I don't really like get notes from friends. Cause we usually just say it straight to my Facebook. There is actually a note that my crush gave me, and so this question was, I'm passing, so paste a note from a friend, which I just wrote the note, because I had to adjust the book some, so, because some of the questions were, like, school-related with, like, friends, and I'm homeschooled, so I adjusted it to fit me and not, like, someone else. And, um, and so you, and then they want to know how did the note make you feel. So I put in, and you should do it. You're really good at it. You should sing. And, and then I put it from my crush. That is a note that actually only happened. He actually did say that. Uh, a long time ago, ago, he, a long time ago, me and him were the only ones that showed up. Oh, up, and I didn't really want to sing. We were, like, doing karaoke day or, like, singing day, and 
and so he went up and he said he did good, and, and you know, um, and then the teacher asked me, like, oh, do you want to come up and sing, and I'm like, even though it was only her and my crush, I went like, you know, oh, I, I literally just went like, no, I'm good, and, and then she went like, okay, and, and kind of moved on, and he, he wasn't taking it that easy, he was not going down that easy. And so he, he literally came up and said, and, and that's what he said, was that you're really good at it, and that you should, and that you're really good at it. And not trying to be rude, it's just trying to get me to do that. that and stuff. So I said yes, and did it, and I kind of you know, liked it, so I just kind of, I liked it. Okay, wait, we skipped over a page, I feel like. Nope, we didn't. So the next question was, and I didn't actually ask this, but these are things that over time I did ask, like, people, oh, what do they think about you, and what is their favorite thing? And so my crush is the first one, and and I put his name, then I put, said this, everything that, I legitimately asked him like a long time ago. We were, or the only two that showed. What? You're subscribed. Okay. I'll get it in a minute. Okay. And it, we were having an issue with my iPad. And um, that it literally unsubscribed me to like everyone. everyone. So he had to set it up. So now I am subscribed to JoJo. And I should be able to subscribe to other people. And, and so, he, I like, asked him because we were the only two that showed up. Oh, no, and he said everything. He didn't have one yet, so he said everything. So, yeah, then the second person that I put was Bella. Uh, I love Bella, and I put in Bella said this, everything, obviously. Everything is a good answer. Or it gives you a lot of space to like write, so that's good. Because I don't write very like much on some. This is the question that got me so hard. It was the hardest question of all. So it said, "Why? What is a fun memory, or you share with your friends from school?" But because I don't. Go to school, I'm homeschooled, so I just put some fun memory. So I put four for each, except for two for Sam. So the first section is my crush, and it's the, the, the day we danced, which I just told you. And yeah, we danced. And the, uh, we danced twice, but that was the main day. Like, that was the main thing. What do you have? Don't chew on my unicorn. That's my unicorn. <laughs> Beep. He gets in a growling mood when you try to him. It's okay. I know you try him. You take a nap. He doesn't actually bite you or anything. He's just really growling and moody. And then for the second and fun, we got... The day it was just me and him and the teacher. That was kind of the same day, but a lot happened that day. It was fun. Then we got the day before Valentine's Day, and which was awesome. And, and then we got two more. The day that he hugged me, obviously the best. And then I put it every day because every day fun with him. Then we got Bella. Ooh, Bella had some good ones. We got Marble Museum. That was a fun day. We went to, like, so, um, we were in a place that had a fun, um, well, before we, like, moved three hours from it, and we went at a place that we could go to the fun place called the Marble Museum, and it's basically a kid museum, and it has so many fun toys and things that kids can play with, and it's so fun because they got a swing set and that you can play with. They got, um, um, like, they got, um, 
uh, the workout area, <laughs> which is fun. They got like so much fun stuff there, and it's so much fun. And so we went one day, and that was a fun memory with her. Then we got the day at the mall because I have personally only been with Bella to the mall twice, but there was a day that was more with it. We each got ten dollars to spend and wherever we wanted really and we pretty much both um spent our ten dollars in justice and we we just had a fun day at the mall. You know that's always fun. Then we got shopping and for our body pillows. That was a fun day. Because we you know like a few days before she left the last time, we went to like Walmart and we went to Walmart and then Target because me and her wanted to go to Walmart, but my niece wanted my other niece wanted to go to Target, so we went to Walmart and then Target on Fourth of July, and we basically I bought a giant JoJo body pillow and she bought a like giant rainbow mermaid body pillow. Then we got, uh, every day. Then the next section is Sissy, my sister. Um, you should be watching this, so shout out to you. Then we got going to see Jojo Siwa. That was a fun memory because we went to Charlotte and saw... Jojo Siwa, and we live a little bit away from Charlotte, so that was a lot of fun. We had a nice long car drive. We went and ate dinner at Crackle Barrel, and and we went to um see Jojo, and we just had so much fun that day. That day I cried. You know, we had fun because Jojo was my ultimate idol, and it, what made it even more fun was that was my first concert. That I ever went to. Yeah, you would think, and at the time I was 13, but you would think out of 14 years, I only been to one con, and that's kind of crazy, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm glad that my first one was JoJo, which was my main birthday present that year, and slash a little bit of my, my present. Then we got, okay. Then we got, like, every time, obviously. Then we got, when we went to Target, every time we went to Target, because we would go to Target sometimes, and it was just me and her, and it was, like, fun. Even though we wouldn't really stay, like, together, but we would, like, be together some of it, a good portion of her. And that's just fun. Personally, here's the thing, most of what, me and my sister, like, when we, when it's, like, us going out, most of it is very similar. Like, going to Target or, like, just basic things. So, that's kind of covering most. Um, but then we got going to Poland Park, which happened a long time ago. We went to the fun place called Poland Park, and it's, and it's, um, it has, like, playground area, and you have, like, a train that you can ride, you have a carousel, uh, paddle boats, and things, so we went to, so a long, long, long time ago, ago, um, and my niece that lived with her was off at school, because I, like, come from, and I was staying with them for a few days, and we went to Poland Park that day and had fun. So that's fun. And and then we got going mm. Oh well. Going to Every okay, well, we go. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out what that said because class. 
I think that might go in park or something. Mm. Then we got every day. And then for the two first Sam, we got his birthday because I got to come home on his birthday as a fun little reward because we celebrated his birthday a few days before, like, me and my new Bella threw together a full party. Like, me, like, my sister phone, we texted some friends that were in her phone, um, in her phone, and then we, we, like, decorated with some balloons, and then we had, like, a fun little party. And one of my nieces did help by taking Bella to go pick them up. And then, well, I stayed home to keep an eye on the pizzas. Because we had two pizzas. We had a cheese pizza because we love cheese. And also, we didn't really know specifically what people like, really. And then we had, like, a meat lover pizza. And then we got every day. So then the next page do you, so my question is do your do you prefer having a lot of friends or just a few close ones? And explain why. So I put it I I'm both because I am both. Then let me finish it. I have a lot of friends. Because that is true, I do have quite a few friends, but, um, most, but make a few close friends, like, most of them are just friends, but a few close friends, because I do have, like, some close friends, and I have a lot of friends, and, and then it just lists some of them, and, so I can't say again. Then this one's fun. And um, friends can be anywhere. Anywhere. Where have you found any unexpected friends? And I said yes. And that means actually all of my like close friends except for Bella um, um, are unexpected kind of. But then I put it one Pacific. It on there, but I mean, all of them are usually kind of like um, unexpected to me because I don't, I don't work well with like people that I'm not really, I don't really know, and so that's a question that I take kind of like, like so a lot of them are unexpected. Then this one's a good one. How do you show um love to your friends? And so I put it by being nice and being there. There we it gives you a few pages. It gives you like a whole nother two pages in case you have a different answer. Describe your perfect day. We're gonna give Sam some love for a stick. But yeah, I'm pretty much did this, and then we are so close to when I finish. And then tomorrow, my dad will see this because this was kind of homework, but was also kind of fun homework. On the way, oh wait, but I'm gonna show you in a minute. Okay, I'll show you. And describe it basically saying if you can go anywhere do anything describe your perfect day and I put all of my close friends and 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 all of my other friends just having fun and that's true okay a true friend is complete the sentence so you gotta complete the sentence and I put nice and kind in there for you because that's true. A true friend is that. Then we got a few more questions. Can you describe one time that a friend oh wait a friend came to your rescue and I put yes and then then I put the time my crush talked me into singing. 
and that I wouldn't really say that like to stand out, but it definitely stood out to me because it was oh, it happened, you know, like it happened, you know, so nothing really stood out. But I picked that one because I liked that time and the uh, it wasn't really coming to like my rescue and then we better wait was on um, not getting me to give up that ease. Can you oh wait, I'm not allowed to read that. Cause you know, there's a reason behind that. That is a page that if I say I get in trouble. Because it's relating with I has a friend or someone ever and like rude to you and then like put it down so I did put something down and then like do you have a friend that was like had your back or something and so yeah I'm not really saying then this is, is actually like one two like you get four spots to like draw something but what it wants you to do is draw or write down something like draw or write down something and then like a friend gets to complete it and then a friend gets to complete it that sort of thing so i just play friends and then next time i see one of my close friends they will complete it or add to it and we skip that one to the last question that i answered um what is your favorite summer memory that you had with your best friend? But this, obviously, I don't have a best friend. I have a few. So I just turned around, around at one of my friend's house because we went because this summer, on the past summer, we went to, like, one of my friend's house and I had a lot of my, like, close friends there. And my new fellow and some of my others, and that was just really fun. So, yeah. And then I put in, in all the time, I put in all the fun memories in my crush. So, that is it for the video. You know, I hope that you got to understand. I will make a part to the video probably tomorrow or the next when I complete more.